Welcome back to Ship Happens. Today we are still in the engine room and we're going to do some more woodwork. During the week, Simon come and got very busy with the paintbrush and painted all of the area that we're working on now. So, looks nice and shiny. We've got two frames to get in here, but we've got a problem because we need to open up the deck to get the frames in, but right above is where the cleat is. So first job is going to be to move the cleat out of that location to allow us to open up the deck and get the frames in. Okay, so it's quite important that we sort of keep the boat in position. So we need to retain the cleats, but as Joe pointed out, we can't keep the cleats here because we need to work here. The only good location we can put the cleats is on one that we've, this one we did earlier. So we can put the cleats over here because it's like a big saddle so then on the top there's actually some fresh ply on the top so that'll keep the clean so obviously it's only temporary for now but it's the best location for it Right, so remove this this um call it like a spreader plate basically saddles the the um the knee just to basically give the cleat a bit more security but we're just going to move this from here to here i was just saying to gem off camera i think once we properly establish the deck and stuff like that, we'll make some nice stronger ones of these because this is what holds the cleat on basically and so so for now then we're just going to go send the drill up So the front and the backs of the frames have had a coat of paint now and also the knees on its first coat of zinc primer so I'll just keep adding coats to that through the day and then paint it black. <laughs> Bleep, bleep. Some of these copper nails getting them out is <laughs> really, really hard work. They are well fixed in. So the 
head's just popped off that, so what we'll do is we'll cut it and just hammer it out. Conditioning in your pants. Again. <laughs> That's so you don't get a sweaty butt crack. Yeah, so it's there completely intentional, honest. <laughs> right, what are you up to? Uh, we're still battling the exhaust. Seems like a never ending game, this exhaust. But we're basically replacing these ones here, so now I've got to try and mess around getting this out of there. Okay. Normal day, different um, different set of problems, but. And good. we're also cutting the scarfs as well. Yeah. For the new frames down there. Yep. And then we'll get them all made, then we can stick them all in at the same time. And we also need to make as well the um, whew, the web frame. That's the word. We'll do that later. Do that later. Is something that we've not seen for a very very long time. This sun makes a change. It hasn't been out for ages so it's nice to actually feel a bit of warmth on my face for the change. Right, start the knee has had a couple of coats of zinc so now I'm gonna go and paint it black. Okay, so what we're going to do now is the web frame that's going to go here we're going to get it all laminated up so we can leave it a couple of days to dry and then fit it so we need to get the floor up good news though we've already had this floor up and we know there's no ballast in there so there's no hidden surprises just probably loads of mess oh well can I go where you are? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> 
That's a big Uber job, isn't it? That's a big Uber job, yeah. So Gemma's laminated the the new web frame. But what she doesn't know is that I struggled because I did a quick test run before with one piece. It's quite a struggle to get it through the door. So let's see if she um, see if she struggles. It's puzzle time. Let's go right down there with that one in that corner. No, no. Mm, yeah, you could do that. I would help you, but I don't want to get glue all over me. That's it, that's it. That's it. Right yep. Oh, yes. It's always surprising how they like just about fit. <laughs> I'm sure there's other ways to do it, but it is a puzzle hold on. We want to get this on that, don't we? Come on. Do we need to get this onto the beam shell? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Okay, well, I'm. Um, this side. Towards this side. Back. Yes. Go back that way. I did it. Right. Now, something I'm a bit twitchy about is look at the distance this has got to bend. So that's got to go from there to there. It's that big. It's how big Gemma's fish was. <laughs> right. Come on then, because it's right. getting warm. I'm gonna, this glue I'm gonna might go off. Clump you up, and then um. Yeah, we'll give it a push. Hopefully, we don't break it. Go on. Um. Okay. Okay. Oh yeah. So that so we're, we're heading a bit lower. Right, so this web frame is all dry now. So, time to take it off and give it a clean and a paint. And try and one epoxy me clumps. So everyone keeps asking me, where has Robbo gone? The actual truth of it is he's still in the cupboard. Should we let him out? Don't hit me again. <laughs> <laughs> Have you finished yet? No. You can no. come out when it's finished. Oh, he said that two months ago. <laughs> I can't even come out when you're not here. The boat's alarmed. <laughs> let me out, please. When you're finished. <laughs> So when he finally finishes in there, we'll let him out. Right, so Gemma's cleaned up the web frame now, so we'll put it, I'll put it back in, and I'm going to give it a quick mark, and then we'll take it to the bench, then we'll cut it, and then we need to go outside and open up the deck, which is just above here, and then we can then slip our new frames in. That's the plan. <laughs> So what, so what we've been educated with here is like, even though you clamp it up, you leave it for the proper amount of time, which is over the weekend, um, even when you unclamp it, it still tries to straighten out. As you can see here, it's still sort of kicking a tiny bit. So we need to clamp it up before we can mark it, don't we?
You too. And do we do the top one as well? Yeah, because we always forget and we unclamp it and have to put it back in. I've got a bit of a guessing game going on here. Because this is so so much of a rotter. I think if we go a slight bit bigger when we do the deck beams we can bring it down a bit. So Robbo has actually progressed on to using power tools on the boat now. So should we go and see what he's making? Do you feel the pressure now the camera's here? Shocking, isn't it? I, you know, I hate the bloody thing. I'm making a thing. You're making a thing? What, tell us what you're making. One of them. Okay, what does that do? Um, I think it's kind of like acts like your knickers, doesn't it? Stops them up from falling down a bit. <laughs> Is it? Okay, yeah. They're not quite as shiny as your knickers, then. <laughs> doesn't know, they're a bit brown. Just as dirty, though, aren't they? <laughs> Cheeky. Okay, so we'll come back once you've made them and we'll see what they're for. Okay, thank you. <laughs> no pressure, yeah. honest. Alright, so it's open up your deck time. I'm speaking like this because it's a bit windy. <laughs> the lighting's a bit rubbish as well. So where are our frames that we're putting in? So our frames are here. So the best way to tell where they are is where the nails are sticking out here. So if I now just remove a section of our temporary deck and then all be good. So those little bits I was cutting out before, um, I didn't know what they were for, then Gemma and Simon told me. So back in the cupboard where I've spent the last few months, down at the bottom, just like Gemma has earlier on the other side, to stop any crap from going down underneath, those little plates were just little fillets. I think they fit. Right, time to start getting these frames in. Second frame going in now. That's it, good comment. It's quite annoying that this one's grey when everything else is white. <laughs> But it'll all be painted again. Never been able to put a frame in from the inside before. Okay, so after all the hard work inside, now we do some work outside. So here's all the nails we bashed out when we cut the frame, knocked them out. Uh, there's some here, so we've got four frames, I think. So we've got this one. This one, this one, and this one. So we're going to ignore these for now. We're going to concentrate on these ones we've just epoxied. So we've got them. So we've got to work all the way down there, which that's where the mud is. So we need to do some digging. Woo! Love digging.
Good. Yeah. That's quite below the mud line there. Oh, we're still on the bottom one, okay? So I'm not knocking them all the way home so we don't get me hammer full of glue. So basically gluing all the ones that are below the water line because of like, well, water. You don't really want it to come past the nail, do you? Doesn't take much longer, does it, to put a bit of glue on it? All right, so Gem's inside now. She's going to put the roves on while I hold the nail back with the dolly. Okay. Okay. So this one's that close to the yeah. stringer. I can't physically get the tool in, so I'm having to do it by hand. You ready? So at this point Simon had slipped off the nail and I couldn't hear him shouting because I've got earplugs in and also the noise of the tool. I think we definitely need some headsets to communicate a bit better. Am I done? So what Simon's just doing there is um, adding a wire to the new web frame knee that we've just put on that's got a buckle on which is then bolted all the way to the outside so that runs all the way over to another knee on the other side so it's to keep our hull in shape to stop it sort of going like that and giving oh. up Another thing as well, it's actually slightly out of shape. We can actually see that the hull's actually moved out ever so slightly. So, so we're just... We're going to use it to pull it in as well. So we're just lining everything back up because obviously we want to keep the hull in the shape it should be. <laughs> but this, this line here initially went from cleat to cleat because I'm a bit paranoid about you know, bad weather and stuff like that So because the boat's not very strong, but if we can tie the boat together as well so yeah so we've got loads of these lines in the bow in the transom ends and in the middle just to keep the hull perfectly aligned so it's been a very very long day but we got four frames in yes. a web frame and a knee and some extra support so we are once you've tightened that bolt away we are going home so thank you all so so much for watching yep. Um, we really appreciate all your comments and all your yeah. likes and stuff like that. Um, I want to know where everyone's from. So, in the description, leave, well not in the, not in the description, obviously. You can describe. <laughs> leave me a comment and let me know where you're watching from because I find it really interesting to see sort of how far. <sighs> Should we have a competition? Who's the furthest viewer of today's video? <laughs> so yeah. Probably if someone on Mars or... Mars. <laughs> <laughs> PlayStation. Yeah, you never know. So let me know where you're viewing from and we will see you next week. Thanks for watching. Thank you. Bye. Bye, bye. Thank you all so much for watching. Please consider subscribing if you haven't done already as it really helps the channel out. See you all next week.